Mayor Bill de Blasio is having a bad week. He just received his lowest approval ratings to date from the latest poll. A paltry 38% of New Yorkers approve of the job he is doing. Given the decline in the quality of life in New York City, no one is surprised by these numbers. He also had to embarrassingly apologize for heartfelt tweets about the Mets, which appeared to come directly from the mayor, but were written by a staffer. Many of you have asked me about the ability to recall the mayor of New York City. There's even a Facebook page dedicated to the effort with over 5,000 likes. And there is an impeached de Blasio page with over 12,000. But that one hasn't been active in a while. Did you know that in New York State, there is no process by which voters can have a recall election? State Senator Tony Avella introduced a bill which would change that, but it has been collecting dust up in Albany for almost two years. 18 other states give voters the right to return elected officials if they feel they've been sold a bill of goods. What is it about this mayor that has turned so many against him? Even his liberal supporters say he is not progressive enough because he still believes in broken windows policing. In my opinion, there is a certain laziness about him, witnessed by his late arrivals and delays in making critical personnel appointments. An arrogance, which was displayed when he didn't admit the homeless crisis until he did. And stubbornness, which is evident in his many confrontations with the governor and his indifference to New Yorkers with his weeks spent stumping in other cities to promote his personal agenda. Despite all of this, he remains the odds-on favor to win a second term. Doesn't New York City deserve a mayor with a greater than 38 percent approval rating? Since a recall is out of the question, the only thing you can do is hope for a better candidate and make sure you show up on election day and let the true majority rule. It's up to you.